Hey again everyone, I wanted to share in this video a way that I've been finding some more family history through finding family heirlooms that are already in the family and other ways as I'm going to explain. Now on the screen you can see my great grandmother, my great grandfather, my grandmother and family. That's my two times great grandmother, my great uncle and then these are great great aunt and I forget but her daughter. So I knew right from talking to other families that this lady here who was born Annie Barnes Hunkin, my great grandmother, she had done some paintings. Now this is her again with my grandmother and she was born in 1880 I believe and I've seen the painting in my mum's cousin's house right so another granddaughter of hers and I saw the painting and you've got instantly down the bottom A.B. Hunkin, let me zoom in. A. B. Hunkin, 1905. So one I know she was painting before she was married. One that she could paint and 1905. So I've got a ballpark figure. And so I actually then went on eBay and the first result I did turned up a painting of hers. Now you can see that. And much to my amazement, I put in A.B. Hunkin painting in eBay and there was one there and it was this one. Now I made an offer and it came. It wasn't in great condition, but that's fine because I was just happy. But having had that one, I knew and you can see A.B. Hunkin and it's 1908, maybe 1900, hard to tell. But I was looking for something specific and just amazed. And then also, incidentally, her husband, I knew he was he had been an undertaker and funeral director of various roles around that as well as a timber merchant and he'd done quite a lot of stuff and so I put his name into eBay <laughs> and then I found this book now this came months late and I'll explain how I did it but I found this book that he published <laughs> it's um yeah not the most uplifting reading but it's still amazing to have it and you can see Morgan R. Morgan sanitary treatment of the dead so i've got the copy of this now what i would say to you right if you've got any sort of heirlooms or ideas of someone in your family writing or painting or anything like that do this on ebay okay so let's say we go to ebay and i've got an idea for something that's just come up okay so let's say you may have seen this photo in other videos i've done on census records this is my three times great grandmother this might be my great great grandmother. I'm not sure whether it's one of hers because she had four daughters and it could be any one of them. But you can see it hasn't got names. I know who they are. But on the bottom left, it's got WH Batten. Right? And that makes sense because that's her son in, uh, well, the family of her son in law. And over here, if I move my head, for Oxford Grove, Ilfracombe. I know they're from Ilfracombe, Devon, so I've got to start now. I can think, okay, Ilfracombe. So what I'd do, with this information in mind, let's go to eBay. Now you're going to see lots of stuff I've been searching for previously as well. And let's try WH Batten photo. Probably nothing, right, because it's quite obscure. And then that's fine, but you can then save this search and then turn on email alerts. And that is actually how I found the book because with the painting, I found it first time and I was still, I'm still amazed that that happened. But with the book, the Sanitary Treatment of the Dead book, it didn't come up for months. Now there's another way how I knew that book existed, which I can tell you about in another video. But when you've got an idea, I'm leaving these kind of clues all over, right? So I also found recently another one by, I think, my great grandmother's auntie i don't know why it's in our family because i don't know anything about this person i don't know there's any closeness but e.a hunkin 1887 and i just found this in my parents attic the other day and so again if i come in e.a hunkin painting probably nothing because i've already got the search right but again i can save that and if you want to be sure right you can put a quote around it just like you can in google and do that no exact matches found save this search 
And I think it's not offering me to turn on the alerts because I've already done it. But then what happens is if anything comes up related, it just emails you. So you can literally leave all these trails and all these feelers out there for anything useful and stuff does come up. Like I've got a, there was a grandfather clock in the family by a William Reynolds, who again is a three, four times great grandfather. And I've just had this alert yesterday. Now, I don't think this is the same one. It only says Reynolds here, but there are other ones of Launceston where it says WM William Reynolds. Not sure, because it seems strange that it's not that far away to have the same name making clocks as the one we've got, but ours is Neath in South Wales, right? So don't think it's the same, but even so, it's great to see these things come up and just to be notified. So when I've got any inkling of something that's going to appear, I'm literally just going through eBay and putting everything I can down. And if if you do start to get spammed by those, then you can just modify your results. But it's such a great way of doing it. And as I said, I found the book through it that I wouldn't have otherwise found. And I also found this painting. And honestly, it's great just to find these because I, I knew there was other paintings by her in the family but we didn't have one and I really wanted one and I've actually had it professionally restored so it looks a bit better than that now but it's still just you know amazing to have it but again you can start looking WH Batten these kind of things now he's a professional photographer so the chances of my family being in them are low people might not write the name but if you just start putting those trails out there and those alerts you can still put yourself in with a chance of finding them and I would say even if you have an idea, if somebody said so-and-so was into photography or liked painting, writing, you can start putting things out there. You might find any number of things. You know, even for my great-grandfather, I also found um, an invoice that he'd written in like 1911 to someone just for some kind of supplies for his business. Somebody had put that on as eBay ephemera. And I snapped it up because I was curious. And it did tell me something extra about the family. It actually said the company name was Morgan R. Morgan and Son. My great uncle never went into the business and his son didn't know that that had ever been the name. So it was starting this conversation. So he'd obviously wanted his son to join the business and his son had decided to pursue an academic path and then went into chemical engineering. But it's curious to see that that was ever a factor. So by doing this, you're going to get more information about your family history. And it's just going to give you maybe the, a wonderful surprise at the end of it, all just by setting up these alerts and leaving them out there and not having to think about it. So that has been fantastic for me, and I would really highly recommend you try it. And if you've got any questions about it, leave them below and I'll do my best to answer them. Or if you've got any tips for anyone else, do suggest them as well. Now check out this video here for more and I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching.